Okay, this is the code reader autofix OM123. Well, as you can see, I don't have any check engine lights. But uh I'm going to I'm going to try to uh fool the computer and see if I can read any codes on here. So uh, let's see up the ball out there. Okay, what I got here is got here the uh, throttle position sensor. I'll unplug it and uh, see if it pulls the computer and uh, it's gonna think that the throttle position position sensor is malfunctioning. All right. We'll check the there's no check engine light so it's probably because I just did it it's gotta you know take a while before it actually would set off a check engine light but it should have a pending code so go to the pending code hit enter and there it is, PO122 throttle position sensor switch. It's pretty cool about this because it gives you the code plus it tells you what it is. So uh, let's try that again. Okay, I'll plug this back in. And let's take, I'll take this idle air control one off. And let's see what that does. Okay. Uh, still no check engine light. But it should have a pending code. I'll scroll down from this last one. Let's see. I'm going to have to go exit out of here. And I'll try pending codes again. Okay, it's got one of two, so... There's the throttle position sensor code. And there you go. P1504. Idle air control. So it works pretty good. I mean, if you got some stuff, you know, some stuff malfunctioning, it'll tell you. Give you the code. It'll tell you what it is. I mean, this is a, you know, it's a low-cost uh, code reader, but it, it's got some pretty cool functions. Actually, it's got some live data stuff, too. Um, you can exit out of here. And it's, the camera's not picking up the screen too good. Here. Okay. Um, see, I can take those codes... I'll just scroll down with this button here. And I'll erase the codes, those pending codes. And this again. He's done. And I'll scroll down to live data. Enter. And here it gives you some information. Not a whole lot, but it gives you some. Like, uh, it's going to be a little off now because I still got the uh, idle air control unplugged, but 
uh, tells me what the coolant's at. It's 176 degrees. The ETCF. And I can scroll down. Uh, gives me my RPMs. It gives me my spark advance. It should be a 10. But I'm sure it's because the idle air control is uh, unplugged. I'm going to go back out there and plug it in. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. And uh, we'll check it back inside again. And yep, spark advance went down to 10. That's normal. And idles, the RPMs are around 750 or so. And it gives you other information too, I guess. Your mass airflow sensor and uh, the air temperature going in into your engine. You know, it's pretty good for it. It's a very entry level uh, code reader, but it's, you know, it's got some good things. It definitely, if you, uh, for reading codes, it's great. And, you know, I like to look at it. You can see, you know, like like with the coolant thing, you can see if you're, uh, I got a 180 thermostat in there, 180 degree thermostat. So it's reading 176. It's pretty much right on. You know, when you're driving down the road, it'll, it'll go up probably, oh, uh, I don't know, 5, 10 degrees. But it's also got some other functions too. You can, uh, if you have it plugged in while you're going down the road, it's got a speed sensor on it, and uh, it's it's got some other stuff on it too. And uh, yeah, I'll go back to uh, hit exit here. Go back to erase the code, that other code. Erase that, and. I go to read codes. Uh, there's obviously no stored codes because I don't have a check engine light. But I'll go to pending codes. It should be should be blank too. Yeah, see, no pending codes now because I erased it. Um, yeah, you can get this on eBay. I bought this about a year ago. Um, you can get them for under 25 bucks, and uh, they work great. You know, it's pretty easy to use. You got, a, you got just four uh, four buttons here to, to play with, <laughs> and uh, you know, it came with a little user's manual. You could read it if you want. I didn't even bother reading this thing. I mean, I, I like to just plug things in and start using them. You know, because it's pretty simple to use. But you know, if you got like, if you got fairly simple things wrong with your vehicle, you know, something like that, like a throttle position sensor, map sensor, uh, you know, some kind of sensor, O2 sensor, it's gonna it's gonna tell you on here. You know, once your check in your light goes on. And you can actually even look up pending codes. You know, you can tell if a if a situation is going on or it's, it's going to happen or, um, you know. So, yeah, I think this thing's nice little nice little. Uh, for the money, it's definitely worth it. Um, I'm glad I got this thing. You know, someday I'll probably maybe upgrade, but for the do-it-yourselfer, it's a pretty good. Uh, pretty good tool to have, and it's. Like I said, under 25 bucks, you can have it delivered to your door. So, uh, if you like the video, 
give me a thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching and remember keep on wrenching